Hello. So we're still on our way up to the house, bringing along my my beautiful Bangladeshian basket with my with the sunflower seeds in it, so I can feed the birds up there on in Maple Cove. I have to make a sign for that. I make signs for everything. I have about ten signs ready to put up. Three birches that goes on three birches hillside, and the terrarium, which goes down in the valley beside Sunrise Hillside, and piloted place. There's a tree that the piloted woodpeckers always fly to from their pole. Hydro gave them a new pole a few years ago. Okay, and what is another sign? Um, oh, the Crystal Palace. You should say the Crystal Monstrosity. I think monstrosity is more fitting because if I say a palace, it makes people think that I think of it as a palace, but I think of it as a monstrosity. Willem calls it the palace. He has a good sense of humor. What's another sign? I put up the cracking tree sign. Should be able to see it through there somewhere. Yeah, it should be right back in there. <clears throat> On the cracking tree, half of which broke, and the other half will probably break this winter when it's negative 25 outside and everything is so brittle. Everything is frozen solid. And when the tree bends in the wind, you hear the crack. It's a very distinct, huge crack. Cracking wood. Anyway, then that falls. That's the end of that. But forever after, it will say, the sign will say, the cracking tree. Because it is the cracking tree. I would like to put a teepee. Right there. That would be a nice little spot for a teepee. Only I have enough teepees that I don't use that I don't need to make another teepee that I might not use. And anyway, it would block the view. I have my logs there. I gotta get them out there from there before my neighbor. I have a neighbor that took my telephone pole. And you know, in case anybody wonders how I would know that. They were drag marks where his tractor had come across and where he had dragged the telephone pole all the way down the road, all the way up this road to his farm. So I know where the pole went and I guess legally it wasn't my pole because it might have been on the shoulder or the, what is that called, the frontage or the allowance, the road allowance, which was still down in my valley by my teepee. That was the piloted woodpecker's little pole. Oh well, so I don't want these to go the same way that went. Only these are distinctly ours, I would hope he would think. Oh well. Look at how parts of that tree are, are wet. And other parts aren't. He left. He saw me coming. I was too close for comfort. See now there's Harry Woodpecker inside in there. Hey, I should put a sign that says Harry Woodpecker inside. I should put on a tree out here. And that's Cedar Cove in there. I could take the shortcut. Here's the shortcut. But for me, it will be a long cut because I have to stop and look at everything. If it's a little bit boring, I might not stop and look at it. Look at those. Those are all currants, currant bushes. That was once a red trillium flower. See, this is... This is the cedar berm. It's not cedar cove, I'm sorry. 
cedar berm. Oh, look at that. Aren't they beautiful now? The stilbees didn't do too well here in the shade. I guess it was too dry for them. I guess it's here to kill some grass. And this is perennial. The perennial slope. And this is the garden bed. These are catmint. I have to harvest them and put them away. Here we are, back at, back at Maple Cove. And I shall put some seeds up here for the birdies. I guess I'll just keep it out here. And that's it. Lovely door. Bye.